This is a Tesla Model Y and we're gonna see how Tesla FSD can route us from point A to point B. So let's do it guys, right? So I'm gonna engage a Tesla FSD right now and we're gonna do unprotected left turn and you can see the car is going slow because it snowed a few days ago but there are snows in the road so the car can definitely see that through the camera and we're gonna find out how Tesla FSD handles uh, this kind of situation so we're gonna make a left turn and this is on protector left we're gonna stop on this stop sign we're gonna look on our left side we're gonna look on our right side and if there is nothing we need to creep here and then if there is nothing we're gonna make a left turn so as you can see there are just one vehicle from our left side and we can proceed after this uh, the car should proceed it is proceeding very good job immediately make that uh, left turn didn't uh, went to that suicide lane it immediately came to the right lane and now we are proceeding we're gonna make a left turn on the upcoming traffic sign also if you don't know me my name is Anato Mohamed and I love to film Tesla full self driving videos in New York and hopefully you're gonna enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button so we're gonna make a left turn here but we have to wait for the opposite side and now we're gonna go as you can see still there are another vehicle from the opposite side and now we can go yeah very good immediately make that left turn looks easy perfect didn't even hesitate the steering wheel doesn't have any nag in this version i'm so happy guys so happy so if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button guys so we're gonna go and we're gonna test few things in this uh, drive this is a brand new road because i never tried fsd in this road in my uh, videos before i always do a normal road where there is narrow road unprotected left turn and stuff like that this is something new that i'm trying today because some of my subscribers are saying hey anato please test some new road this is what i'm doing just for you guys because i love you so much because you support me also, if you want to grab our FSD beta bumper magnet, you can grab that from my website. That is IamAnado.com. And we're going to make a left here. We have little space, but the car immediately moved to the left side, touched the yellow mark on the road, and then came here. Very good job. So right now let's find out how FSD handles this situation. This is definitely a busy road and after this car we can go. Yeah, immediately Tesla FSD uh, like proceeded and make that left turn looks very easy, nice and perfect. I'm going to edit the destination now. Let's find out how FSD handles. So I'm going to make this screen bigger. We're gonna make a right turn. The GPS is saying to make another right. I'm probably gonna take over because I wanna go straight and then make a right turn. So I'm just gonna take over here, guys. So just want to tell you that I took over and when the GPS will reroute from that road, I'm gonna engage. Yep, I just engage it one more time. And we're gonna see how FSD handles right guys it's so far so good the the car doesn't have any problem the sun is directly in the ca hitting in the camera still we are proceeding we are going no hiccups no hesitation there is a hiccups right now i just felt it the car breaks a little bit and then proceed really don't know why probably that uh, snow thing on the road uh, but the car hesitated a little bit, but we are making this right turn now and we are proceeding very good And I'm gonna edit the destination one more time because we're gonna make a left turn on upcoming stop sign And that stop sign is also tricky because you need to wait and there is certain places You cannot see your left side right side properly. So we're gonna see how FSD handles that so just you know reroute uh, that so I'm gonna fix the GPS right now. Let's do it just uh, edited the GPS and now we are proceeding as you can see the car is going 26 this is a 30 limit uh, 30 mile per hour uh, speed limit road but the car is going definitely a little slow probably the car is realizing this is a neighborhood that's why the car is not uh, speeding up or something or because of the snow 
whatever the road seems like white a little bit uh, so probably the camera is thinking there could be snows on the road so that's why the car is going slow okay so we're gonna make a left here on this uh, traffic light and uh, definitely we have to wait here and uh, if the light change then we have to wait for the opposite side traffic and they, if there is no vehicle from the opposite side we can make this left turn so let's see how tesla fsd handles this situation right guys the light just changed and we're gonna make a left turn here as you can see we turn on the indicator and there are vehicle we are middle of the intersection now we still have to wait okay the car immediately make that left turn perfectly i was a little hesitant because there was another car was coming from the opposite side but the car realized that car has its left indicator on that means uh, that car will make a left turn so we just make that left turn perfectly amazingly no hesitation very well and perfectly done so we are gonna proceed here let's find out if the car do something weird uh, because the sun is directly hitting in the cameras and stuff like that the road seems a little wet but still fsd ha is handling everything perfectly so i'm gonna end the trip here and i'm gonna navigate uh, through a different road let's find out how fsd handles so i just changed the navigation as you can see and we need to make a right turn probably here and then we're gonna make a left let's see how fsd handles this navigation situation so we're gonna make a left here and then we're gonna make a right on a stop sign and then come around so let's see very perfectly and nicely done left turn here uh very confident now we are moving uh towards our left side because there are like parked car on our right there are a few snows on the road let's see if the fsd avoided those uh, not really but uh it slows down definitely it slows down over there for the snow and this is a always stop sign we can proceed our car proceed at perfectly make that right turn looks easy and uh, amazingly done guys also if you guys are new in this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button i know normally i always do like narrow road testing and protect the left turn but this video is for you guys that i want to see how FSD handles like new road, right? We always do the same route again and again and again. We can make this right turn because our left side is red and we can proceed. Our car proceeded perfectly, very amazingly done, guys, right? So yeah, we are going forward again. So we're gonna see how FSD handles this suburb road. And uh, yeah, guys, it seems very smooth. I just want to tell you that 12.5.4.2 is uh, very confusing because it cannot navigate through narrow roads. Sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes it just has some steering wheel nag. And uh, FSD 12.6 is so good. Like it is almost like FSD 13 is very confident. It doesn't have any nag. It is it just make one major mistake that i noticed at the very first day that is running a red light in front of a cop if you didn't watch that video i have that video in my channel you can go and watch and that's the one major thing i noticed in this software even fsd 13 also makes similar kind of mistake but after that day i didn't see any major issues with fsd 12.6 guys this version is pretty good like you can just you know like uh, relax and you know like uh, pay attention to the road and the car will definitely take you from point a to point b so as you already saw that that our car is navigating us uh, from our house from point a to point b without any intervention i didn't have to do anything other than just changing the navigation right i didn't have to take over i didn't have to assist the car i didn't have to do anything so we can definitely clearly say that fsd 12.6 can definitely take you from point a to point b without a human interaction and now the car slows down a little harsh because those uh, car from our front breaks uh, immediately so we had to brake a uh, little hard but 
it is what it is guys but still i didn't have to touch the steering wheel i didn't have to do anything in my car i just changed the navigation and the car is taking me from point a to point b without any human interaction this is amazing guys Kudos to Tesla AI team, Ashok and everyone who is involved in this technology. I love Tesla. I love Elon Musk and stuff like that. But I would definitely um, say when the car makes mistake, I, I always explain to you that when the car makes mistake and what kind of mistake it makes, why the car makes mistake, where the car gets confused. But in this drive, today's drive, 12.6 performs amazingly well. So we are still four minutes away from our destination. I'm saying so many good things, but hopefully the car will take us to our destination without any problem, without any human interaction, right guys? So we are waiting for that traffic light and when it will turn green, hopefully we're gonna proceed, right guys? So if you're new in this channel and you like my content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is absolutely free to support a new content creator guys like just just imagine how relaxing it is like you don't have to do any stress uh, testing you don't have to hold the steering wheel you can talk freely you can move your hand you don't have to uh, touch the steering wheel after a few moments because uh, tesla just Im implemented that on our software that it, you could just have to look uh, straight and the camera will catch it and uh, it will not tell you to touch the steering wheel and if you notice that in this whole drive of 20 minutes almost I didn't have to touch the steering wheel one single time, guys. This is amazing. It blows me away that we're in a time where our car drives by itself and it's all because of Tesla. I love Tesla. I love the technology. I love the vision and stuff. So I really appreciate that the car is driving us through snow, through rain, through daylight, night light everything guys so i'm very happy and hopefully the new model y i will able to buy it this is my dream probably because i really need to test a hardware 4 car but i can't afford it right now but hopefully very soon i could afford that car uh we don't need to yield here because but still the car is not actually yielding uh it is yielding now it could just easily go I don't want to press that acceleration. I know there is a car behind me. Um, we can just easily go. This is one lane. We can definitely go. Uh, I don't press that acceleration. The car this time proceeded perfectly without any human interaction. So that's the thing I was saying. This lane, you can just go. You could just slow down over there a little bit and you can just go because those cars will not enter right over here. So that's why uh, as a human driver, when I was driving, I would do not stop there. But the car, for some reason, FSD prefers to be safe. Uh, not a bad thing. That's the rule to yield. So some road marking is different compared to other road. And our car just, uh, you know, stop there being cautious and immediately proceed when there is no car on our left side. So hopefully you guys uh, like this video, guys, and enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I love you so much. Please hit that subscribe button and have a wonderful, wonderful day.